Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, leave a comment below, let us know how we're doing. Otherwise, let's get started. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at list iteration or looping through a list or stepping through a list, however you want to call it. All right. Basically, what we want to do is we want to go through the list, get each object in that list and do something with that object one at a time. All right. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at it. Let's create a, um, a list. So we're going to say A is going to represent that list and we're going to assign it to the list and we're going to say master and then we'll do code and we'll do online. All right. So we'll close out that list. And now let's go ahead and take a look at how we would step through and do something with that each time. Well, let's go ahead and say we're going to print each um, string in the list. So we say for. So basically we're saying, hey, Python, we want to do a for loop. All right. Then we're going to say temp. All right. This is a temporary variable. So I named it temp. Um, normally I name them item when I'm doing stuff with Django or X. Um, but I'll call it temp so you guys remember it's a temporary variable. It just temporarily holds each object as it loops through. And then in, whoops, in, like that, basically say, hey, temporary variable in the, and then list. All right, so this is why Python's so easy. All right, so for temporary variable in a list up here, all right, hit return, tab in, or four spaces. And then go print temp. All right. Then we hit return, return, and we got master code online. So what happened there? Well, Python went through each object in the list and did what we told it to do here. It said, all right, print master, print code, print online. So there you go. It looped through each one of them. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Let's go ahead and create another um, list. B is equal to, and this can be a list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whoa, 9, and let's throw 10 in there for good luck. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through and get the sum of all the numbers. Now, we already know we could use sum like this and get that. All right, so it's 55. That's the number we're trying to hit. But we're going to use a for loop for practice. So let's go ahead and create a variable to hold our um, count as we count through the for loop or count through each object in the for loop. Now we're going to say, hey, Python, we want to perform a for loop. And then we're going to say x is our temporary uh, variable. Then we're going to say in what object? The b object, which is the list up here. Put our colon, come down, tab, or four spaces. Then we're going to say total plus equals x so basically we're saying hey total we're going to add x to it and then assign the new value back to total all right so we've seen this before too with the um, addition assignment operator get hit return and we'll go ahead and call total what did we get we got 55 all right now we didn't see anything really happen in here but we can go a little bit further and do this one more time and so you guys can see what's going on four x in b then we're going to come in tab in or four spaces and we're going to say total oops total total uh the addition assignment operator on x we'll come down we'll do one more thing down here we're going to print total oops total and then we'll go ahead and call it out so we got 56 58 61 65 70 76 83 91 100 and 110. Now you're probably wondering how the heck did we go from 55 to 56 to 50? Well, we never reset that variable, so we were starting at 55. I should have explained that before we ran that, but that is proper for what it should have done. So basically, if we did sum of B and we started at 55 like that, we get 110. So there you go. All right, so if you guys have any questions about list iteration in Python, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next See you in the next tutorial.